Today I'm gonna to be talking about my goals for 2020. Good morning guys and happy new year. Every year we get the opportunity to reboot, to really make a concerted effort to make our goals, dreams and aspirations a reality. For some people it's going to the gym, for other people it's cutting out sugar, and for other people, it's traveling around the world. But whatever your reasons are, 2020, for some unknown reason, just seems to be an even bigger reason to just grab life by the and make things happen. So I'm wishing you all the best in 2020. For me, I've identified the goals I will achieve in 2020. These aren't extreme radical changes to my lifestyle. They're more continuation and more of a, I suppose, acceptance and realization that I have come to and accept about myself. And it's not a limiting belief. By any means am I limiting myself. But I'm very clear on where I am right now, what I need to do in order to move forward. So let me take you through a few of my 2020 goals. The first one for me is one that kind of contradicts the way that most of the people from my generation think. Instead of having my own business and being independent and going nomadic, which are all fine, I find myself right now not in a position to take advantage of any of those opportunities. What I really want in 2020 is to join a company, lead a team. So having a job is really important to me. For a number of reasons, having a job offers security and given my creative temperament and given my desire to really commit to something, to really become part of the fabric of an organization, Having a permanent job is just something that I want, regardless of my friends all go be your own boss, do your own thing, work when you want to work. I find that once I'm in an organization, people tend to be very flexible with me anyway. So working for them isn't a problem. I quite enjoy it. And working with people every day is something that I really need in my life. One of the earliest things I plan on doing in 2020 is chipping away at my personal brand. I made a lot of effort in early 2019, but in 2020, I really want to craft my brand. Just add little details. It's what I've always done throughout my career is really put a polish on things. So whether it be YouTube videos or my website, even something as basic as my CV, I need to see that common thread across everything that when somebody sees it, they go, ah, that's something by Craig Jamison. My goals for YouTube in 2020 are to refine my brand, to find my voice, which at this stage is very much looking at design, creativity, leadership, and the personality that goes into all of that is something that I think will come across in the channel. I don't want to overcommit. I, I don't want to say I'm going to make 100 movies this year. What I'd like to do is get a kind of steady flow of videos out, consistently uploading. At this stage, it's looking like Wednesday mornings and I'm hoping to just drop one video a week on YouTube 
that has just that little bit of extra effort on each video. The rest of my video making across other social media channels might be more frequent. And then on something like Instagram, for example, I don't really feel that selfies are my thing for the, like the biggest part of 2019. I hardly put any photographs of myself up at all. I'm just not somebody who needs to see pictures of himself. But what I've really enjoyed doing is creating short form stories. So I plan on using my feed to showcase these short videos and use my stories to rapidly tell people about my journey and, and put little sequences together. IGTV is still something I want to use, which I think is more almost like a daily vlog, but very simple. Really pick up the camera, point it at myself and do something. No titling, no fancy graphics, no anything, just really fast content where I share a message or a point of view or an opinion, something like that. But I do very much believe in mobile and even what I'm doing on YouTube will slightly change for better mobile videos. What I'm not going to do is overwhelm myself with too much structure and change and resolutions or anything silly like that. I'm not good at sticking to anything regimented. And while I've certainly learned some great skills, I already apply them to my life. So I'll just continue to enhance them just a little bit at a time. But going and setting daily routines like rituals just doesn't work for me. I shared a video about a morning routine. And the truth is to go and be so rigid about it is not actually healthy. What I've realized is that I need sleep. It's really, really healthy for you. I need to wake up with ease and not feel, oh my God, alarm's gotten off. Better get up, let me stretch, let me eat, let me get ready for work and rush out the door. I mean, that's a very unhealthy habit and it just, it's already your day starts with such friction. So for me, it's knowing that there's a window of sleep that I need per day and then working my life around that. Obviously having a full-time job will put some structure that I might not currently have, but I'm okay with that. I will just work around that. So if I need to wake up earlier, I'll just go to bed earlier so that I still get sufficient amounts of sleep and I'm up early enough to go and do things that I want to do this year, like take a morning walk, continue to fast regularly and journal first thing in the morning to just unpack everything that's on my mind. A personal trait that I identified in 2019 is that I have a tendency to isolate myself from people for various reasons throughout my life. And I've done this periodically on and off where I literally just disappear. Nobody hears from me. I'm very isolated and sheltered from the world. And it's a personal challenge that I now have to say, I need to break this habit. I need to interact more with people. I need to not hide away from the world as much. Sure, you could label me an introvert, but it's not that. There's something deeper there. And 2020 is the year that I'm gonna work on this and be more sociable again. I'm not somebody that overly likes where I'm currently staying. So I've got two choices here. I'm either going to get away a lot more so that living where I do doesn't limit my ability to really enjoy my life. Or my second choice is that I need to move in 2020. Find a place where I can go for daily walks quite comfortably any time of the day where security is less of an issue to me. and. While I'm very good at blocking out the noise, I need to find a place that's more in sync with who I am with less effort so that I'm not expending too much energy blocking out the wrong things and rather letting in all the love and light of the world 
that I truly believe in and want in my life. In 2020, I'm definitely going to free myself from as much distraction as possible. I identified that as much joy as I got watching people dance on TikTok, I would only really use TikTok as a way of broadcasting my own videos. I don't really want to kind of go down that rabbit hole of just endlessly, mindlessly scrolling through feeds, which is something that I've done on a lot of social media channels over the years. You know, it became very clear for me in 2019 that it was a good idea to start removing a lot of the common apps that we all use daily because I was just wasting hours a day just scrolling and that's hours that could be better invested in myself, in others, in learning new skills, in doing new things and going on great adventures. Why would I get lost in consuming my life with watching everybody else's? So in 2020, I'm really going to embrace this. I have a plan to actually remove all social media apps off my phone so that I don't pick up my phone nearly as much as I do currently. And to put down my phone and go and do things so that when I do stuff, I'm really focused on what I'm doing and I'm really present and I don't nearly have as much distraction. If you've watched any of my videos before, you'll know. I don't listen to the radio. I don't watch the news. I don't read the newspaper. I've blocked out the world's noise because I don't need to take on everybody else's problems and the media sensationalism. So I need to kind of reduce the clutter that's on my social media already and then remove the amount of time I spend picking up my phone and scrolling. It's not to say there isn't value there, of course there is. I will continue to make videos and content and one of those commitments that I'm going to make for myself in 2020 is to start blogging again. That's right. I'm going to start blogging again daily. I believe that one of the responsibilities we have is to share and a blog is a great way for me to unpack what's on my mind, a great place to host a lot of the little videos that I make. And it's a, record almost like a, a vlog would be but I don't want to vlog every day so I want a place that I can share a great quote where I can share thoughts on design and leadership on a movie I've watched that I feel that would be of value to you and where my opinion matters sometimes it'll be words other times it'll be video other times it'll be an image I'm not entirely sure, but I can manage at least one blog post a day. In 2020, I plan on reducing my life as much as possible. What I mean by that is I plan on decluttering as much as possible. I don't subscribe to being a minimalist at all, but I certainly subscribe to having less. And I really am going to take a very, very hard look at how much stuff I can really remove from my life so that I can let other stuff in. And for me, other stuff right now is not necessarily tangible. It's the universe speaking to me. It's the creativity and the focus that I want in 2020 to kind of give my life the trajectory that I wanted to take. So for 2020, let's draw, paint, write, teach, speak, coach, podcast, collaborate, make short stories, tell love stories, live life, be adventurous, and most importantly, stay cool. I want to wish you and yours the very best for 2020. My name's Craig Jamison. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment. Stay cool.